Hi guys, it's Mariska from Design by Mariska and today I am so honored to be here with the wonderful artist Linda Hollier and her home and gallery in Abu Dhabi and here to tell us a bit more about herself is Linda herself. Linda, would you please mind just telling the few audience members who does not know who you are, who you are and what is it that you do? With pleasure. Um, well, Mariska, I was born and grew up in South Africa. I lived in Germany for almost 10 years. And for the last eight years, I've been living in first Dubai and then Abu Dhabi. I'm an iPhone artist, which means that I create all my artworks on my iPhone. What I do is when I'm out walking, I use a slow shutter photography to capture moments that strike me as I go about my day. I then use various apps, I create my own textures, I blend them into the pieces, I paint with apps and I actually paint on my iPhone with my finger until I get a specific result. Wow. Um, one of the main themes of my work is rootedness and movement. And the reason for that is um, when you are on your mobile device or sitting at your laptop, your body is in a particular spot. And it's also in a particular time zone. But your mind is Googling, it's connecting with others on social media. It's in a very special um, place, which is not localized and which is also not limited by any time zone. So the fact that your body is rooted, that's the concept of rootedness. And the mind that is moving is my use of modern technology. Wow. You will notice that most of my works get printed onto recycled wood. I have it done in Germany. And I don't think there's anything else that's more rooted than a tree. So that's hence true. the recycled yeah, wow. wood and the modern technology. Brilliant. That's amazing. I want my viewers to remember that even though they are enjoying modern technology, they still have a body. Wow, wow, that's very interesting and very true. And I absolutely love the pieces which is on the wood. Thank you, cool. thank you. So Linda, how did your journey with your art start? Well, I've always loved photography. One of my first wishes as a child was to own a camera. I've always loved technology. I was into walkie-talkies, um, CB radios, any form of communication. And the other thing is that I'm a promoter of mindfulness. So when we moved to Dubai in 2010, I started my blog, Here to Here. And Here to Here has different meanings, two of them being a reference to mindfulness, Here to Here, knowing that you are really in this moment. And the other meaning that I wanted to incorporate was, what is cyberspace? What is this place that you're moving in when you talk to someone via social media, where are you meeting? Mm -hmm. So your here meets my here in this here to here space. Wow. That's a bit of a background. At the time I was um, photographing Dubai architecture. I love architecture. And then I began to wonder what is the architecture of cyberspace? So what I did was it just happened to be the advent of smartphones, um, apps, Instagram, I started using my Dubai architecture pictures to make them into abstract works. And one of my first series was called Corridors of Cyberspace. And that series was shown in Venice last year, which was really exciting for me. Oh, I can imagine. Wow, that sounds brilliant. Um, the next turning point in my art came was when I started experimenting with slow shutter. I attended a whirling dervish ceremony in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. And when I watched these dervishes turning, I was inspired to convey the whole concept of rootedness and movement happening at the same time. So I began photographing people. And it's not that I just ra randomly photograph anybody. I kind of sense the energy around different people. And if I see something, I've got those few seconds just to capture, capture that moment. And if you look at the figures in my artwork, you'll see that they look as if they're standing still, but at the same time, they seem to be moving in another, in another dimension. Yeah. And they're kind of inviting you to follow them and enter into that space. 
and find out what story is waiting for you in that space to unfold. And I find different people see different things. They see what they need to see at that point in time. Oh, well, that's true, because that's one of the things that caught my eye with your artwork as well. It feels like, you know, like I need to follow this person because they're moving towards some place and I want to go. That's kind cool, of how cool, I feel. Cool. <laughs> so what inspires you as an artist? Life inspires me. Um, beauty in all its different forms. And I also think the times that we're living in, we're living in really exciting times. Um, we're going to be surrounded with augmented reality. The whole internet of things is taking off. Um, and I think at the same time, the planet is calling out to us to take note of the fact that we're all interconnected, that we're all part of nature, and that we need to take responsibility for that. And it's asking us to realize that diversity is important. And that's another one of the themes of my artwork, uh, diversity in unity. Mm. Um, so that's another one of the reasons I love living in this part of the world. We are a melting pot of different cultures. And I think we need to realize that we're all more similar than what we're different. That's true. That's true. So when you talk about the diversity, I mean, your logo is quite diverse for me because mm -hmm. it's Arabic and like English. English. So, um, yeah, how, how is that? Because that's also very diverse. How does that go about? How well, did that start? That was also the fact that I'm English speaking, but I'm living in this part of the world at this point in time. So I thought that would be a good way to also uh, bring across this whole theme of diversity. Because oh, that's beautiful. So your name is like in, in the middle and then you've just sprayed it. So I it's had like somebody design it with okay. my name in English and on the left is the Arabic, Linda. also says Linda. Oh, that's brilliant. It's mm. such, I love it. I Thank absolutely you. love the Thank logo. You. It's really amazing. So if you could own any art piece in the world, which piece would it be and why? Um, I think if I have to choose one piece, I would choose the icon, the Trinity, by the Russian iconographer Andrei Rublev from the 15th century. There are these three figures seated at a table and there's no movement. But at the same time, there's an incredible communication going on between the three of them. And I was very privileged to be able to see the original in the Tretyakov Gallery in Moscow. And I can remember going there and being so excited. I went straight through the whole gallery. I lo never looked at any of the other artworks. I got to the gallery with the icon and I asked them for a chair. And I just sat there for ages. And th th this icon has always spoken to me very deeply on many levels. But nothing could have prepared me for the actual piece itself, especially the colors. Oh, wow. Well. well, now I'm really interested to actually see it. <laughs> so what would a typical day in your life look like? Um, well, I don't have a specific routine to my day. I'm an early riser, um, but I go with whatever is required on that day. Um, when I'm out walking, obviously, I have my iPhone with me so that I can capture new images to work on. Um, I would say that despite me having no routine, I do every day work on my artworks. I devote quite a bit of time to that. I read up about different apps. I experiment with them. I also um, devote some time to finding out possibilities for new showings. And um, very important, I spend time on social media connecting with um, various people all over the world. Okay, that sounds very interesting. A full day. To what I did, <laughs> it always does. Yeah. So if you could travel anywhere in the world today, where would you go and why? Well, I love travel. And if you're asking me where I'd like to go today, I would say that I would love to go to Baku Ooh. in Azerbaijan because I have a dream to see the um, Haider Aliyev Center Oh. designed by the architect, my favorite architect, Zaha Hadid. And um, while I was there, I would also try to visit the studio of Faig Ahmed, whom I've grown to know and who is my favorite textile artist.
Okay, what? That's very interesting. It is a beautiful building. Been? I've been to Azerbaijan. <gasps> And yeah, it's stunning. I unfortunately didn't have time to go in that mm -hmm, day, but mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's an amazing building. Wonderful. Okay. So, what projects are you currently working on? Um, well, earlier this year, I was fortunate enough to have one of my pieces selected uh, to be shown in what was called the Equinox Experience in Florence. This was the piece, and. Um, the Equinox Experience is the brainchild of Andrea Biggiarini of the New Era Museum. And what happened was you went into the space and there were these huge screens, nine meters high and 13 meters high. So you totally immersed in, in the art and everything was moving and there were images of uh, mobile artists from all over the world on these screens moving and there was live music on the hand pan. It was fantastic. Brilliant. And at the moment, I'm working with Andrea because we're wanting to bring this experience to Dubai next year. Wow, that sounds very interesting. I can kind of see, you know, this, this just being so massive on a screen. Mm. That's mm. beautiful, wow. And what is this piece called? Or? Uh, this piece is called Dissolving. Dissolving. Do you have any advice for any young artist starting out? I would say um, work on your art every day, stay true to your vision, um, explore possibilities of getting your art out into the world, finding ways to have it exhibited, um, make sure you have a website, become um, active on social media and very importantly I think one should connect with other artists. Um, I don't know if you've been to um, Area 2071 in the Emirates Towers at the moment. They're focusing on um, the creativity of youth. And while I was there earlier this week, I got a poster with a beautiful two sentences on it, which I think is not only for young artists, but for all artists. And this poster said, tend to each other's growth, make others successful in the most generous way. And Mariska, I think that's what you're doing with these interviews. Oh, thank, thank you, you so you. much. You're most welcome. That's brilliant. That's, that's a really, really good advice for any artist, and especially for me as an artist as well. It's something I that I can take and grow from there as well. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. So you've exhibited your artwork in many exhibitions in more than eight countries. What is next? Well, um, there's a possibility of a solo exhibition coming up in the near future. Um, when I was in Venice, I incorporated augmented reality into some of my works. So I'm totally open now to finding um, new ways of sharing my vision with my iPhone. Um, I also want to continue to photograph my Interact to Connect series, if I may, may tell you a little bit about that. Yes, that would be brilliant. So I was in Rome and I just happened to come across this um, festival, Ethiopian festival, and there were all these people walking in front of me and obviously I photographed as much as possible. I came home, I developed a series of six works, and then I searched the whole of Dubai until I found one little store that sold, uh, sold these exact um, shawls that the ladies were wearing that day in Rome. And I had these works printed onto the shawls. And what I've started doing is when I travel, um, I started in Venice, I just go up to people and ask them if I can please um, photograph them with the artwork. So they have to interact with the artwork, they have to interact with me, and that way we get to connect. And I've, I've had such interesting conversations and met so many interesting people. In fact, um, Mariska, may I photograph you with one of my pieces so that I can add it to the collection? Yes, you may. So I can just hold this any way any I way want. Any way you like, any way you feel drawn to hold it, let it interact with you or the surroundings. Well, I think this woman is dancing, so maybe I can like do a move. so much <laughs> thank you so much Linda for allowing so us to actually come to your house and view your beautiful pieces of art and to get to it's know you as well so as a little thank you gift I would like to present you with some of my 
recycled earrings. So they made with Nespresso coffee capsules. Oh, my favorite And that colors. is your, your gift, the blue earrings. Beautiful, hey? Thank you thank so, you much, so much, much, Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and go and create something beautiful.